Hi, my name is Bob Morris, University of Nevada Cooperative Extension, and I am here in uh, at our University Orchard Research and Demonstration Orchard, uh, talking to you about the two basic types of pruning cuts that you're going to be doing when you're pruning your fruit trees. And there really are only two basic types of cuts. One is called a heading cut, and the other cut is called a thinning cut. When we're in the orchard, we're going to primarily be cutting using the thinning cuts. And heading cuts are done for very specific purposes. So let me demonstrate both of those types of cuts. Let's take a look and pretend that this is part of that tree. If I were making a heading cut, a heading cut would be cutting off a branch anywhere along, uh, anywhere along its surface. Here, 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 here. Those are called heading cuts. If I were to remove this branch at this point, at a juncture between two branches, then that is called a thinning cut. A thinning cut removes an entire branch like this. A heading cut cuts somewhere along the branch, just above a bud, anywhere along its length. 95 to 98 percent of all of the cuts in our orchard are going to be thinning cuts like that, leaving a branch. Why? Because at the end of each one of these branches there's a terminal bud. And that terminal bud has a great deal of control over the side buds that occur along the stem. Once we remove that terminal bud, we now have released control of these side bun bunches, the side buds, and these side buds will begin to grow. Usually two to four of those side buds will break whenever we remove a terminal bud. One cut, one heading cut, will usually generate two to four new branches for every one cut. So if we're making a bunch of heading cuts like this, we will make two to four new branches all with terminal buds. As opposed to a thinning cut. A thinning cut again is where an entire branch is removed. When we do that, the terminal buds on these two branches will remain and they will go ahead and continue to grow upwards while we'll remove that side branch. Here again is a thinning cut. This is also a thinning cut. We've left the terminal bud to continue to grow. These are important types of cuts to learn if you're going to master pruning in the orchard. There are only three reasons why we would make heading cuts, removing the terminal bud. Number one is if there are no other alternatives. Number two is if we have a branch that we want to, that is too thin and we want to thicken it up, we'll go ahead and make a heading cut causing this branch to thicken up. And the third one, even though this is peach, on those fruit trees that produce fruiting spurs like apples, pears, plums, then making a heading cut like that can initiate fruiting spurs along that particular branch. So the two types of cuts that you're going to, to make are either a heading cut or a thinning cut. Heading cuts are seldom done unless you want to thicken a branch, create fruiting spurs, or if you have no other alternative. The primary cut that you're going to make in an orchard is going to be a thinning cut because when you make a thinning cut like this, you end up thinning the canopy, not thickening like you would with a heading cut.